Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for January 1st of 2025 is titled Alpha Centauri, the closest star system. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of a star or actually a star system. Now, of course, in the image, you do see a lot of stars there. But the primary one is that very bright one toward the center. And that is what is known as Alpha Centauri or actually Alpha Centauri A and B. There's actually two stars there that are simply not separated. They're actually pretty close together about the size separation of our solar system. So between the sun and say one of the outer planets like Uranus or Neptune, that's about the distance between between these two. And even at the relatively close distance here in this image of, of the star, we cannot see them as two separate stars as two separate stars. So the bright two stars are very close together. And in fact, the brightest one is actually very similar to our sun in terms of its temperature and its brightness. So that's about what our sun would look like if you were around Alpha Centauri, you would look toward our direction and see our sun looking something similar. Now, of course, there is one more star here and it's a little harder to find. In fact, you can look through this and you would never pick out which one it is. And you can see it is labeled way down there toward the lower right hand corner. And that is Proxima Centauri. Now Proxima Centauri orbits around the other pair of stars, the bright one at the center. And it is actually currently the closest star to the sun. And that's just because in its orbit right now it is on the near side. So it, as it orbits around in a very long orbit, eventually it would be farther away than the other two. Currently it happens to be closer, making Proxima Centauri the, actually the nearest star to our sun. Now, how bright is Alpha Centauri? Well, it's actually the fourth brightest star in the sky. And the brightness of a star that we see depends on a couple of things. First of all, it depends on how close it is. Now for Alpha Centauri, that's a big plus because it's a relatively close star, meaning that it's going to appear bright either way. However, it also depends on how bright the star is intrinsically, how much energy it is putting out. So even though Proxima Centauri is a little bit closer, you can see that it is vastly fainter. It is a very small red star, not putting out a lot of energy. So when we look at the brightnesses of stars, we can't really tell which of those is making it bright. Is it a bright star because it's close to us? Or is it a bright star because it is intrinsically a really bright object putting out a lot of energy? And of course, the combination of those two would cause some of the brighter stars that we see in the sky. And even very faint stars like Proxima Centauri would be completely invisible to us without the aid of a telescope or other device to be able to see them, even though they are closer than all of the other stars in the universe. So that was our picture of the day for January 1st of 2025. It was titled Alpha Centauri, the closest star system. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be 2024 in the sun. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.